In early 2018, a controversial documentary was aired on the BBC, highlighting vegan activism in the UK. It was centred around my vegan prophecy tour, the actions of the SAVE movement, and allegations of threats from vegans to farmers. As a result of this documentary, there were many articles written and following this, I was asked to appear on a radio show with a TV host called Jeremy Vine. I was unaware of the viewership of this radio show at the time, but it was the largest audience I've ever reached in a single interview. I'm going to tell you how many people just listened to that interview. Seven and a half million. The aftermath of this interview sparked a media tirade with dozens of articles from every major newspaper in the UK, reaching tens of millions of people. This kicked off the start to many media opportunities to come. Well, I'm a bit upset to see your sandwich has a piece of a pig's body in there, a dead pig that didn't want to die. I obviously won't eat this sandwich now. In fact, I might never eat it, but it, it's offensive to see it. Now, the reason farmers don't see themselves as slave owners is because they don't see animals as victims. We victimised animals to the degree that they're not even considered victims. Uh, I believe it's more offensive to actually show me the piece of an animal who didn't want to die than it is to sort of call someone out for it. Well, I think the passion was justified. I mean, uh, Jeremy, a nice gentleman, but I don't think he's spent a, as many hours of, as I have out the front of the gas chambers where they lower pigs into carbon dioxide gas and they thrash in their very last moments. So I can understand why he could say something so insensitive or leave a you know, piece of a you know, dead pig on his table to wave in my face. So he had a ham sandwich. He did, what? and he made a point of pointing that out to me. But that's fine. I mean, people are going to ridicule something they don't understand. And if he'd seen what I'd seen, he would not be so insensitive about it. We can eat meat if we want to. Well, if you're against animal cruelty and you eat meat, then you're practicing moral hypocrisy. I'd Are say. you? You can't, yeah. you, you can't just be moral blindness. No, moral blindness is willful ignorance, but you know that animals suffered and died in that stake. I know, I, know just, so. I just blank and it. you're a good That's... guy. I know you're against Oh, them. bless you're you. I, of course I'm, I'm against Do you have a dog them. at home? Do you have, I have a dog at cats. home? cats. No, I, mean, cats. I wouldn't want to eat my cats. You wouldn't no. want to eat your cat. As for there being money in owning animals and objectifying and exploiting them and killing them, we should not value money over life. Okay, this is the root of all that's wrong with the world. When you see abuse and cruelty happening to animals, it's natural to have a, you know, a response, an emotional response. Animals are being butchered, have that's some perspective. Not that's not... What is more offensive? M Mr. Mr. What Carpstrom, is more Mr. Offensive? Carpstrom, have your protest on the street. Don't invade a restaurant. It's simply not fair. Oh, do you want to talk about fairness and justice? It's not fair that we subjugate the most innocent beings on earth. That's not fair. Why are we doing it to them for? Uh, I always look at things from the animal's perspective. So th through the animal's eyes, dairy farmers aren't good people. They, they forcibly impregnate them every year, take their children away from them, they kill all the boys. And when their milk production declines, they send them to a slaughterhouse to be shot in the head and slashed across the throat. But I think we need perspective in this situation. Now the dairy industry are responsible for separating families. When these calves are born, they are taken away from their mother. If they're born a boy, they'll be bolt gunned in the head, sometimes on their first day of life. If your, your issue is just anything to do with animals, mm. yeah. you've got a problem with, right? Using animals and viewing them as products is yeah. a moral issue. Well, what is wrong with a, with a cow being milked for milk? It's unnecessary. And when she can't produce milk anymore, she's murdered for her body, okay? A mother. What? Why do you well, need I like breast milk? milk? Joey, well, it's not. You breast milk, milk from a cow? You're not a baby cow, bro. It is not unnecessary I'm not a baby now. You're not bro. a baby cow. Yeah. You're, a, you're a human being. Guys, that is, it's not unnecessary. I am certainly not a baby cow, bro. Can you really describe artificial insemination as sexual violation? Sexually violating a sentient being just like us, yeah. they experience consciousness just like us, we're sexually violating them against their will, that is immoral. They cannot give consent for this. They stick their fist inside a cow's anus, hold the cervix, uh, they jack off a bull and use the semen and they inject it into the, the cow's vagina. Okay, now this is all done against the cow's will. They're held, held down on a rack, very uncomfortable. Um, if this isn't sexual violation, what is? I just don't understand why, why uh, people wouldn't think that that's sexually violating an animal. So how do you answer that then, as, as, as farmers? How, I, how I you... find that really offensive. So you think that being called a rapist is immoral, but the act of sticking your hand inside of a cow without their consent isn't immoral. And when I reflected, I thought, you know, I've always known that it's hypocritical of me to say that I care about animals, but I have a stake on my plate. I've seen the hypocrisy in saying, save the whales, save the, do save the dolphins, but you know, there's this cow, piece of a cow who'd probably suffered greatly, been bolt gunned in the head on my plate. And I changed right there and then. Your intention with the bullets and the rifle and the flick knife 
to cause harm to human beings. Okay, let me answer that. Yes I used to no? consume animal products three times a day as well, so I was harming animals and humans, right. okay? But I changed my life around and now I'm vegan. Now, just because I did something wrong in the past doesn't mean I can't do something right now. How does that justify your abuse of dairy cows so you can have milk in your coffee? <laughs> when you look at it through the animal's eyes, this is a holocaust. Um, the word holocaust means slaughter or destruction on a mass scale. And if 74 billion land animals, 2 trillion marine animals murdered every single year doesn't constitute a holocaust, I don't know what does. I've always had a desire to speak for animals when I realised I wanted to help someone, okay? I wanted to give back and I felt like the animals needed it the most because we can't even collectively agree that a pig has moral value. Now what's that pig supposed to do when no one even cares about them? Okay, this is, this is what fuels my fire. I want people to understand that that pig does not deserve for one second what we do to them. When you're speaking from the animal's perspective, you've got to think, well, for yeah, me, no. I'm getting pushed into a gas chamber. This is a yeah. holocaust. For me, I'm, I'm shackled and chained. The, yeah. My children are stolen. This is slavery. I don't have yeah. no liberty. The UK actually has some of the highest animal welfare standards in the world. That is nonsense. You There's been so many exposés. There's been so many exposés. I've been in slaughterhouses yeah. myself. Yeah. I've been out the front of gas chambers in Ma Manchester hearing pigs scream for their lives. Yeah. High welfare slaughter is a fairy tale. That is nonsense. I want to see this slaughterhouse where animals aren't getting a knife in their throat. Where's this magical so slaughterhouse? A knife is used, yes, in the slaughter process. It's called slaughtering animals. I don't know any Pigs other way get to do gas it. Chambered Would you rather they used a the hammer? What, 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 where, how else are you meant to dispatch an animal that's in a slaughterhouse? Well, how are you supposed to do it humanely? So I speak from the animal's I point of view. I think the sticking point is, is that you believe that humans and animals are the same. No, I don't. I'm, we're then, obviously different. But then, I think the action okay. is the same. So if, okay. you, if I murder you, that's murder. If I murder a pig, that's murder. The action, I'm not saying you're a pig. I'm yeah. saying that you stab you in the throat, that's murder. And if you stab a pig in the throat, that's murder. Because you stun the animal first. Oh, the animal so is stunned So stunning first. a human being is okay if it's done humanely? We're not talking about human beings. We're talking about the food well, chain. The We're talking about difference? pigs and cows. What's the, what's the difference between stunning someone in the head and slashing their throat open and stunning a cow in the head and slashing their throat open morally? So you make no differential between taking the life of a human and taking the life of an animal. Well, you can't pigs, seriously pigs believe have that. The, pigs have the intelligence of a three-year-old child. Now, what is the moral difference between a pig and a three-year-old child? He's against animal Where cruelty. So everyone that thing. drinks milk, according to you, is a murderer. No, not nonsense. consciously. They don't know. But now you know what happens to animals in slaughterhouses so you can have milk in your coffee. And what are you going to do about it? A lot of it? cows that get milk don't go to slaughterhouses. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You don't know nothing about the industry, my mm -hmm. friend. There are three words that are consistent in a lot of these comments uh, from vegan activists. Yeah. Uh, rape, murder and okay. slavery. Okay. What happens so to your I, cows? Would you mind okay. if I finish? What happens you to mind? your cows when they cannot produce milk anymore? Murder, in terms of British law, means between a hum is human activity. That's not the not only definition. If you look up other definitions, there's, uh, you know, to slay wantingly, there's more definitions of the word murder. So you're going to use a word, use all the definitions and yeah. can't just pick one. Yeah. And, and does it change the violence of the act? Does it change the act being immoral? Because there's a semantics problem here. Yeah. Not at all. I think that the use of these words, whilst... So you're playing word games. Let's talk about the act. Let's talk about the act. You're taking an animal's life just, against their will. What is happening? What is that? What is, is, that is that moral? To no. take an animal's life against their will? Call it murder. Call it taking a li an animal's life against their will. Okay? How is that moral? Being sober and being vegan isn't enough for me. Like, I have to spread this fire. I have to leave a positive mark on people's lives. And every time I woke up from a sleep, I was like, wow, I've just wasted another day. And I, and I had this desire to do something and to speak out. And, I, and for anyone out there who has that desire, that's your purpose calling out to you and never deny yourself of that. Can you understand though, but that perhaps some people find your approach too extreme? Or do you feel you have to take such measures to get your message heard? Is being a vegan who is against the exploitation and harm of animals extreme, or are slaughterhouses extreme, are gas chambers extreme, or are macerating one day old uh, male chicks in the egg industries in a big blender on their first day of life, little baby chicks, is that extreme? Some people that we've spoken to term it as a form of, almost a form of terrorism. Interesting, that word terrorism. Yeah. The word, in, the word terrorism implies someone's being terrorised. If you're talking about activists going onto farms and exposing the cruelty, why are the vegan activists under more scrutiny than the farmers who are causing the animal abuse? Those activists are trying to stop animals from being literally butchered against their will. Okay, so who's the real terrorist here? Who's really being terrorised here? Uh, can I just say, really animals nice kill animals though. That's yeah, but so, so how does that, but I mean, animals rape each other in the wild too. We cannot point to nature and say that that's moral. Okay, we're a civilized society. To take someone's life against their will is savagery. Actually, actually, I think. Would you agree? Do you think it's not my point? I'm just, think, this, aren't we part of nature, or are we not part of? Nature?
Okay, so so you're saying that it's okay to act in a way that um, animals act in nature? Are you, are you uh, making that claim? No, I'm saying, aren't we part of nature? We are. We are. We also have moral agency. Now, we, we are part of a civilized society, yes? Or are we savages? Uh, d well, one would like to think we're part of a civilized society. Okay, well, I, I think vegans are part of a civilized society that we, where they don't um, uh, condemn animals to slaughterhouses for an unnecessary reason. Well, it, it gives you a lot to think about. No, I'm a vegan. I'm against the exploitation and harm of animals, and most people hold this belief. You know, you probably hold the same belief too. You're against animal cruelty. If you've seen something happening to a dog, you'd be against that. Yulin, China, we scream bloody murder. But we sit down and we dine on the body parts of other animals that are murdered in slaughterhouses here. So why have I developed teeth to do Just that? Just because you can eat an animal doesn't make it moral to do so, OK? We can be healthy and uh, healthier eating plant-based foods. This day and age, don't look 100,000 years ago when we had to do it to survive. This day and age, it's unnecessary to <coughs> put innocent beings inside of a gas chamber or into a slaughterhouse. We don't need to eat animals to survive. Um, we don't need it, need it for our health, we're killing them for an unjustifiable reason. But I'd like to think in your mind, Sean, you're a civilised man, okay, and you would agree with me that causing unnecessary harm to innocent animals is immoral when we don't need to to survive. Now when you point to nature and say, oh, animals are doing this, acting in this certain way, therefore it justifies our actions, uh, that would justify a lot of actions. Okay, that would justify a lot of actions. That's why it creates massive contradictions and we can't use that logic. Is there any place to, to eating meat? Do well, you, do you, do, 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 do I you, think it's ethical can, in any way? Can you accept that some people choose to eat meat? I will never accept it. I think it's immoral and it's wrong and I don't think we should. I think we should uh, change our ways. I don't think we should uh, uh, stick to these traditions that are inherently cruel and abusive. You look at a slaughterhouse, you show your children a slaughterhouse and you tell me if they naturally are drawn to eat those animals. Because Why are you participating in the slaughter? Because people like the taste of meat. Oh, so taste overrides morality now? I like the taste, it gives me pleasure. Gives me pleasure to abuse the innocent. <laughs> they are being abused. They're being bolt gunned in the skull and slashed across the throat because you like the taste of their flesh. You are not a natural killer, okay? You're a compassionate man. Stabbing animals for burgers is not part of human nature. Because it's nonsense. Crop deaths is but nonsense. But that's not nonsense Yeah, too. crop deaths are nonsense because most of the crops are being fed to the animals that people eat. Do you have a dog? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I'm a travelling activist and I don't have a dog. What's this? What's, what's, I, I, what's this? I, just, I just wondered if you had a dog and if you, you had have a, a dog? dog, what you fed it. Yeah, I have three. So why do you shoot other animals and not your dog? <laughs> How do you claim to be an animal lover if, and shoot deer in the head? I don't shoot deer in the head, first of all. I actually shoot them through the heart because it's the, it's the quickest, okay. most ethical death. Um, Shooting someone in the heart is ethical? It seems to me you were a pretty violent guy. I right? used to be. Yeah. And, okay. a pretty voracious and you can't turn your life around and do something good for exactly. animals? Exactly. Everyone is entitled. Peers, leave them alone. Let him go, let him go. <laughs> I want to see. What, what did pig. they ever do to you? It's a pig. It's a pig? Yeah, it's a pig. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what does that mean? It's, it's a pig. It's bred for the... It's a dog. It's a dog. It would not be here. They are bred. They breed dogs in Newland for meat too. Is that moral? That is illegal in this country, to my knowledge, to eat dogs. That's got nothing to do with morality. Illeg legality and morality are two different things. We've grown canine teeth. Where? Canine Show me teeth. yours. Well, they look very flat and blunt like a cow's no, teeth. I challenge you to face a slaughterhouse, face these animals in a slaughterhouse, and tell me if it gives you a natural feeling of hunger. Because a true carnivore, a lion, will see a limping, suffering animal and see, see food. You would try to help the animal. That's your natural instinct. Lots of people do eat meat and choose to and, and don't see that they, they don't hold your views. So do you... Well, they do. They do. They just, they hold the same belief against the cruelty to animals, but they just don't, they're just not consistent with it in their actions. So, so the consumers are paying for this abuse and this cruelty to happen without the consumers going, hey, I want steak, I want cheese. None of these animals go to the slaughterhouse. So really the blood is on the hands of the consumer and it was on my hands for many years as well until I changed. Anim animals can't speak for themselves. They're so defenseless and they're the most innocent, vulnerable beings on earth. Think of a chicken, how defenseless they are. And we, we herd them into these situations where they, they, they get pushed into a slaughterhouse and I think that that's the, the biggest injustice and even if you think of the most humane farm that you can think of where animals are treated really kindly, they get belly rubs and scratches, 
The ultimate betrayal is when the farmer puts him on that slaughterhouse trucks and sends him to their demise. Is it possible for you, for you to understand okay. the farmers, to work with the farmers? Yeah, we want them to, to farm plant foods, okay, that, that don't scream in terror in a gas chamber, okay, that, that aren't sentient beings that deserve moral respect and their own liberty, okay. The animals do not have a choice in this. They're making money off the backs of animals and the consumers are, the, are responsible for this. The consumers are paying for it to happen. Uh, sort of promote this message as much as I can. I think we all have an obligation to speak up against injustice, especially when the animals don't have a voice to speak for themselves. Okay. Well, it's an interesting approach and no doubt it'll spark debate amongst our viewers as well. I'm Thank sure you it will. for joining. When we're looking at issues of injustice, we always look at it through the eyes of the victim not the oppressor, okay? Animals are having their throats slashed open for an unnecessary reason, okay? Farmers are sending them on trucks to slaughterhouses. We don't need them to survive or to be healthy. We can eat plants. What is the end goal of all this? What type of world would you like to see us live in? I don't want to see a world where animals are treated nicely before they are savagely killed. I want to see a world where animals are free and liberated. That's the world I want to see.